Hi, this is Paul from FightSG and it's an absolute pleasure to be here training right now at Imminent Air Gym, Bangkok. Right beside me we have Soren Mok Kong Dong, um, probably one of the most prominent and prized fighters of the gym. Soren is uh, one of the Contender Asia part participants and he has fought at major events at boxing stadiums like Lumpini, Raja Damnan and also at Channel 7. So let me get back onto the interview. Hi Soren, could you tell us um, what makes you pick up the sport of Thai boxing? Um, when I was younger, my trainer used to run past my house in uh, at my gym back in Australia. And I just went down and checked out where he was coming from and fell in love with it. Alright, and um, how did you find out that you wanted to pursue it as a professional? Um, I started when I was 13. I didn't have my first fight till I was 16. And I didn't turn pro till 20. How long have you been fighting for and um, could you share with us your professional uh, fighting record? Um, I've been fighting for about 12 years and I've had 73 fights, uh, 50 wins, 21 losses and 2 draws, 31 knockouts. It's quite a good figure. Anyway, we are all curious to find out um, what the significance behind you. The, the word Mong Kong Dong in your name. Would you like to share any moments in Singapore or whatever name? Um, the name was given to me when I was training in Thailand one time. I was this gym at another gym before I came here. It means Golden Dragon and they thought that I moved like a dragon and so they named me after animals that they think you like. But I thought in Australia as Mong Kong Dong and then when I came to Thailand they didn't want me just to have another Thai name. So and adopted the genius as my last name. Also, that, that it goes to show the, the dragon tattoo in the back of your little The dragon tattoo says one in time. Yeah. Um, how do you compare Muay Thai to other fight sports like boxing and mixed martial arts? Um, I think uh, Thai boxing is more of an art, it's a lot more cultural role than you know, it's not just getting there. What about Muay Thai in comparison to kickboxing? What's, what's the difference? Um, kickboxing has got no culture. It's, no, it's kind of like a modified version of Thai boxing with um, all the good stuff. So you can't use your knees and elbows? You can't use your knees or your elbows in kickboxing, but there, you know, there's a whole lot more for it than that. It's kind of like a mis misunderstanding. So, share, could you share with us more about your experience being part of the Contender Asia? What have you learned and how has it changed your life? Um, Contender Asia was great. Um, the main thing I learned, I learned a lot about myself because I didn't have my normal people around me like my trainer from Australia or my trainers here. There was trainers there but I wasn't close to them. So, I really had to do it on my own. Would you like to fight in Singapore again if you ever had a chance? Um, yeah, I'd love to fight in Singapore again. Singapore's a good country, I like going there. But for now, I'm mainly just going to stay in Thailand and we'll see how I go here. Okay, cool. So, everyone over at FireSG would like to wish you the best in 